Hello friends, welcome to Unreal Blueprints video tutorials series. From this video tutorial onwards, for the next few video tutorials, we are going to understand how do we make a game in Unreal Engine step by step. We are going to make a coin collector game guys. So let's get started. I double click on Unreal Engine icon available at the desktop. You can see Unreal Project Browser window got open. I select games. I select here third person template. Then I give the project name coin collector game. I am going to add starter content and say create. You can see coin collector game project is open. I am going to create a new level and save file new level basic create. I am going to save this level file save current level as I right click here create a new folder name it as levels. Then I give the level name game menu level. So this is going to be our menu level guys where we display the menu. Okay, we are going to display the menu. Let's add player start. I click on the play button. You can see the player is visible. We can walk around. Okay, let me escape. Now what I'm going to do, I am going to display the user interface in this place. That is going to be game menu. For that, I right click here and say new folder, name it UI. In the UI folder, I right click and say user interface. I select here widget blueprint and then I say user widget. Here I give the name WBP underscore game menu. I hit enter. I double click to open it. You can see WBP game menu is open. Here we design the menu in the designer. For that, I drag and drop the canvas panel. You can see canvas panel is added to the canvas panel. I'm going to drag and drop a vertical box. Vertical box allows us to stack elements one below another. Okay. Stack widgets one below another. I'm going to change its size and then I place it exactly in the center. So for that, I go to anchors, hold control shift and click on this button. You can see we got the vertical box exactly at the center. Then. To the vertical box, I am going to add a button. You can see I added a button. To the button, I am going to add the text. You can see I added the text. Then I change the text to play. I hit enter. You can see play text is displayed. I am going to change its size. I go here. Size I change to 48. I hit enter. You can see the text size is changed. Next, I select the button. I am going to change its name. To btn play means play button then it should be a variable guys I'm going to add some padding I say 40 enter you can see 40 pixels padding is added around the button then I select the button control C control V you can see one more button is added below the previous button so that is what the vertical box do guys it stacks the widgets one below another okay now I rename this to btn exit and I change the text I go to text here change the text to exit exit right I select the vertical box let it move I move it little up okay resize it I'm going to add one more text to the canvas panel and you can see we have here text displayed I'm going to change this text to coin collector game I hit enter. I change the font size to 52. Hit enter. And then I say size to content. I'm going to put this exactly at the center. For that, what I have to do, I go to anchors, control shift, click on this button. You can see it is exactly in the center. I'm going to move it up here. Okay, that is going to be our user interface, game menu, guys. Okay, compile and save. Next, we are going to add interactivity to the buttons. So I select the button btn play, go down, on clicked. What should happen when we click on the button play? It should open the next level. So I say here open game level, open level by name. Here I am going to give the level name game level 1. We are going to create this level guys. Game level 1 we are going to create. Okay. I go back to the designer. Select BTN exit, go to details panel, 
and say on clicked. What should happen when we click on the exit button? Of course, it should quit the game. So we use quit game node. We have successfully designed the game menu and we implemented the behavior guys. I say compile save. Now this game menu we are going to display in the game menu level. So how do we do that? For that we open the level blueprint. Open level blueprint. On event begin play I say create widget. Create widget. You can see that create widget node is available. Which widget we have to create? We have to create WBP game menu. So it is going to create a game menu instance and returns us. The instance we promote to variable and I name this as WBP game menu. I hit enter. You can see that variable is created. Now we can refer this widget by this variable guys. So WBP game menu add to viewport add to viewport if i say compile save come to game menu level and click on the play button you see we have this wbp game menu added here of course if i click on exit it exits okay play if i click on the play button it should go to game level one right that's what we told here that's what we told here it should go to game level one so let's create the game level one i'm going to say file new level basic create to differentiate between game menu level and game level one what i do i am going to add some shapes here so i drag and drop cube drag and drop cubes here duplicated you see that and then i am going to add player start this is going to be our game level one so file save current level as i name this game level one save so game level one is created let's go back to the game menu level so i open the game menu level if i click on the play button if i click on this play button we go to game level one guys see this is how you switch from one level to another level guys click on the play button we have a one small issue and what is that if i click somewhere else here if i click anywhere else our all input goes to the game it goes to the character you can see that the, we can we can walk around but we have no ability to click on the play button and exit button now because all the input is going to the game not to the ui we have to modify our blueprint so i go here again open the level blueprint here what i say right click i say get player controller get player controller and then i say set input mode ui only so i am telling here that all the input should go to only ui okay it should not go to the game set input mode ui only and which widget should be in focus so wbp game menu widget should be in focus guys and one more thing what we have to do is we have to show the mouse cursor so for that again i say get player controller get player controller and i say here set show mouse cursor set show mouse cursor i click it compile and save let's come to game menu level and click on the play button you see now if i click anywhere on the empty space nothing happens because input goes to only ui if i click on the play button we are successfully able to go to the game level one so that is how you create the game menu level guys so we understood how do we create the game menu level right we started with the game menu level and then we created wbp game menu we designed the user interface and then we implemented the behavior and using the game menu level level blueprint we added the game menu to our game menu level you can see and we told that input should go to only ui right that's it guys uh, for this video tutorial in this video we understood how do we create game menu level i suggest you people to try it yourself guys okay side by side you also create the game if you like this video hit the like button and share with your friends in the upcoming video tutorials we make this game step by step the coin collector game guys for more benefits and be up to date do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel keep learning keep designing keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial